and welcome to Organized-ish. My name is Leela and I have been working on this garage for about a month and a half and it is finally done. So today I want to take you on a little tour, show you how we organized all the new cabinets and drawers and wall storage, and hopefully you get some ideas you can use in your own garage. Now whether you have a system like I have or you just have shelves and wall hooks, it really doesn't matter. You're going to get all kinds of different ideas and storage solutions that you can use no matter what size space you have. We're gonna kick this off right in front of the stairs because this is the first thing you see when you come into the garage from being outside. And this wall is put up with slat walls. We got the slat walls from Modular Closets and it really allows us to customize how we store things and rearrange over and over again based on the season and our needs. So this section really just holds like a bunch of mismatched things but also the things that we use most frequently. So we're able to get to our extension cords and ladders and moving furniture supplies. Everything is all right here and accessible. And all of these things used to be on the floor, so it's really helpful to have them off the floor and on the wall. We also have this area here where we're able to keep all of our different chargers for like outdoor toys and smaller battery operated tools. All this can be stored right here. We're not having to dig around and try to find the different chargers. And we also have a couple of drawers that just hold some outdoor random things and blankets that we can put in the back of the truck when we're moving furniture. We also just got this new refrigerator and right now it's empty, but I will be organizing it eventually. So let's move over to this side. And this area, I really didn't know what to do with. The cabinets wouldn't fit here, and so I put some of these rails from Walmart. They're really, really affordable, and you can use them in any space, and they're super strong, too. Like, they're holding three of those fold-up tables down below, and I'm just using different hooks to hold up the skateboard and croquet stuff, and I also have this command hook for the broom. That way we always can find it because it seems to end up in a different place in the garage all the time. Now this side of the garage is kind of like the workshop side. We got these cabinets and drawers and countertops from Modular Closets and they are exactly what I have dreamed of. I love to have things closed up and before we just had shelves and all these cabinets were open and if you're on a small budget that's still a really great option for your garage. I know this looks really different than being on regular plastic shelves but when you strip it down and you ignore the fact that there's doors and adjustable shelves here, it really is just shelves and containers. So whether you have a $40 shelf budget or a $300 shelf budget, shelves all do the same thing. They all hold the same items. And when you're organizing a garage, it's a great idea to incorporate things that aren't really made for a garage. Like this can riser, I'm able to put all the spray cans on and I can access the ones in the back without having to dig everything out and knock everything over. And to save on containers, I had a couple of these penny jars that I was going to donate because I wasn't using them in the house anymore. And I decided just to put them here to store gloves and paint can covers and I reused as many containers as I could just to keep everything separated. So that is the paint and home hardware cabinet. This one is kind of like the outdoor section and if you keep birdseed my biggest tip is to use one of these containers that has a gasket inside. It's like a squishy spongy material that helps lock in the seal of the container and they keep mice out. So I don't use them for every container because they are pretty expensive but they are really helpful for anything that you have food or fabric items in. One thing I really wanted to incorporate when I was planning this garage remodel was adding drawers. Before, we had everything in containers and they were all just stacked up, which was really great and easy, but I found myself putting things on the counter instead of actually putting them away because of the hassle of taking the containers down and taking the lid off and putting the things in and then putting the lid back on and putting them back on the shelf. So having these drawers 
has been really helpful for me just because it makes me not be as lazy. I have some that are kind of like junk drawers like this where it's just a mismatch and others that hold very specific items like these containers that I use for organizing. But having things ultra categorized is really going to help us find things once we figure out where everything is because right now I still don't remember where anything is in these drawers. I think I'm going to add some QR labels outside the drawers just so we can look up and find things until I know exactly where they are again. And you can see that some of the drawers are super organized and others are not so much. But whether they are ultra organized or just separated by some random containers and lined up. It really just helps having everything separated. And if you don't have drawers like this, you can always use just containers that stack up and separate each of those containers. You can buy them from the dollar store. You can reuse ones that you have inside your house that you're not actually using right now. You don't have to feel obligated to have a drawer like this. I did not always have this. My garage was about as cheap as I could possibly get when it came to organization. And this is just something that you build up to. Now, when it comes to storing my larger tools, I have them on more of these slat walls. Before I had them hung up on metal pegboards and they worked out well, but this slat wall is extra, extra strong and I really like being able to customize it. I can rearrange it as I need to. Right now I have it pretty spaced out and just pretty looking, but I have a feeling eventually I'm going to add more things. I thought about adding my smaller tools up here, like the screwdrivers and everything you saw in that drawer, but it just kind of felt cluttered and messy and I like just having them inside the drawers. Another thing that I'm really excited about with this new system is the countertops. Before, I just had a little table that was in here and it didn't really hold much. It wasn't a lot of space to work on. So having this giant countertop is gonna be really helpful. We added this extra little open space so we could put a stool here and my sawhorses fit perfectly, which was always something that was really hard to store because they're kind of bulky and awkward, but they just so happen to fit perfectly here. And speaking of perfection, we just need to talk about this sign for a minute. I ordered it from Etsy and it's my exact logo on this like cut out wood and it just looks so nice and clean and it adds a little bit of specialness to this plain gray slat wall that's just full of tools. Now, if you're just starting out when it comes to organizing your garage, a custom sign or these spaced out tools on the wall should not be your priority. Your priority is really just trying to make sure that everything is accessible when you need it and you can always build up and add on to these storage systems later. One of my favorite purchases was this little organizer for all of the nails and screws. I found it on Amazon. It was actually pretty affordable and it seems to be working out so much better than the cases I was using before because I don't have to open up all the separate lids. I can just come over, see through, get what I need, open it up and it's all just right here. So I highly recommend this too. Moving on to the other cabinets on this side. This is kind of like the outdoor fun zone is what I'm calling it. So we're keeping like golf clubs and outdoor chairs, bike stuff, climbing stuff, um, just some random things like cat carriers and small coolers. And then also all of my son's outdoor toys. So his Ball toys, we just put inside a container. I could have done something specialty, and we had something specialty before, but it seemed like it wasn't always getting used. And so just having this container where he can just throw the balls right in the container and just go back to his day is gonna make cleanup faster and easier. And I feel like the things aren't going to just be sitting out in the floor anymore. Also, these containers that have lids, he can just carry them out to the yard if he has friends over and they can just use everything all at once. So that's it for the pretty side, but now we're gonna move over to the other side. And yes, it is very organized, but it definitely doesn't look as clean and uncluttered. 
We are using those same rails that I got from Walmart that I used on the other side, and those are holding all of our outdoor tools. I have a metal pegboard here to hold Nigel's grill supplies. And before we had them in these containers and it just seemed kind of messy to try to dig out what we needed. So I put this up. I also added this cart here because he pulls the grill out into the driveway. And so this cart is gonna allow him to be able to put like all of his cooking supplies on there. We can also use that cart for car wash supplies and just roll that whole thing out. Little rolling carts like that are so versatile for a garage. Speaking of versatility, here are the rails again, and this time we're using them for lawn mowing equipment and yard work. They're really sturdy, like they hold up a lot of weight and there's a lot of different hook options. I'll link these down below because we use them all over. I actually have them in my gym too. Now when we took out that open space on the workshop side so I would have somewhere to put the stool, we ended up with one extra cabinet because this was not actually planned for this side. So we used some leftover slat wall and the leftover cabinet to create this extra little lawn zone. So we keep all of our lawn mowing supplies, we have a charging station, all the extra batteries are down here, and this is really just like the get ready to mow section. So it only made sense to put the rest of the gardening tools beside the mowing section. These are the metal pegboards that I did have my power tools hanging on, and so I was trying to figure out what would be the best use for them. Right now, the gardening supplies are what's working out well over here. I do plan on adding more gardening supplies as I am kind of getting into gardening, so I feel like I'm gonna outgrow this space, but for right now, it works. Now this last corner of the garage, I skipped over quickly just so we could talk about the lawn stuff, but it does kind of look cluttered on camera, but in real life, it's not that bad at all. These are shelves that I got from Walmart and the containers are from Walmart too. Everything was super affordable and I just made them look nicer by using my Cricut to add these labels and I bought the QR codes from Amazon to help me keep inventory of all of our decorations. And in the back, we don't use that door ever, so I just stacked up the tree containers and our skeletons just hanging out on top. And then we just have the bikes sitting in front. I thought about trying to hang the bikes, but there wasn't really anywhere to do it, and they're heavy and bulky, and so I thought that they would just be used more often if they were just accessible to just roll out. If you've been planning to clean up and organize your own garage, I hope that you got some ideas. No matter what size your budget is, just always try to remember that the key is to make sure that you can access the things that you need when you need them, and you can always upgrade your storage and add pretty labels later on. And remember that it is just a garage, it's not a showroom.